Good afternoon, Gary. Good afternoon, everybody. Well, you know, there may be a few who aren't watching this, but honestly, it does not feel like it. In the old days, you might have said everyone from the Politburo to the proletariat. These days, perhaps oligarchs to office clerks, but certainly the eyes of pretty well all Ladies 150 million Russians are focused on this spot, the Luzhniki Stadium in Moscow. Russia is proud of how it is hosting the World Cup, and rightly so, and for the first time in a long time, it is also proud of its football team. You may remember that 10 years ago, Russia reached the semi-finals of Euro 2008. They lost heavily to Cesc Fabregas's Spain in Vienna under the uh, tutelage of Gus Hiddink, who has been to Moscow today to visit Stanislav Cherchesev's team. But the last time you could describe a team, well, loosely describe it as Russian, got this far in the World Cup was 1986. Igor Belenov scored a hat-trick for the Soviet Union in a gut-wrenching 3-4 defeat to Belgium. I say loosely because the spirit and soul of that Soviet side was really drawn from the great team of Dynamo Kiev of that era and coached by the Ukrainian Lobanovsky. Spain, their supporters, of course, vastly, vastly outnumbered, but certainly the favourites, Iniesta or no. Chef against Spain. Who oh, gets us down on this near side? Fernandez. of Diego Costa through the middle, try to get him free. Most Nacho getting forward, running into Yuri Zhirkov. The foul has gone against Zhirkov. Interesting position this for Spain. Nacho certainly felt this. Yeah, he did. Pique, Busquets, Ramos, Diego Costa, and David Silva are in the middle. This goes lurking, edge of the box. All the white shirts are back. In goes the free kick. Oh, and it's an own goal of Sergei Ignashevich. Sergio Ramos at the back post. But Ignashevich has put the ball into the back of his own net. Russia nil, Spain won. It's the foul just leading up to it as well. Sloppy from Zhirkov, really, again, making sure of it. That's where it's come from. Offside initially, Sergio Ramos. Uh, took the shot on and took it on quickly, Zobnin, but not with any great... It's gone in, it's a chance. Oh, it's not far wide. Well, it came to the man they would want on it. Golovin couldn't quite convert. Yeah, Ramos isn't happy, he thinks this is a foul. What a din. Sergio Ramos. Samyadov's corner kick, Zuba hit PK, they're claiming handball, Russia. Penalty. Penalty, Russia. Handball, PK. Jordi Alba is finally persuaded to leave the penalty area. Zuba. 1-1. He salutes them. They salute him. Russia are level at the... That's a lovely ball, Diego Costa. Oh, I can say I've did ever so well. Dangerous ball, Diego Costa, cut Ramos. The referee's whistle and engrossing has become explosive with Artem Zuba's penalty putting Russia level after Sergei Ignashev. Uh, Russia are going to make the first substitution of the game and uh, Granat is the player who is coming on for Yuri Zhirkov, uh, which is uh, an interesting one. Granat is really a start from right to left. Bjorn Kuypers blows his whistle. Marco Asensio, he's actually knocked it in dangerously. Akinfeyev is there. Jordi Alba was arriving, bounced awkwardly. Five minutes into the second half. All square between 
Spain and Russia. Koke with this free kick, Diego Costa with uh, a fairly tame and harmless header in the end. Isco. Kuchyopov fouling him this time. It's going to be a free kick to Spain and a yellow card. Bought him that little bit of room. Back into Isco, nicely done. Nacho's ball in, flicked on by David Silva, which actually took it away from Diego Costa. You heard the uh, shouts of pain. Isco, Jordi Alba. Clever from Aspas, Iniesta! Follow-up from Aspas! And Kudriash off to safety. Andres Iniesta so close. Yeah, better football. Isco again. More elevation. Sergio Ramos with the header. Huge sigh of relief from those in white. And the majority of those around the stadium. Gets support. Fedor Smolov here. Smolov! It's worth a go. Yeah, could right shot. You just think now he's probably the wrong man to get into that position. Indicated. Referee has put his whistle to his lips and he's blown it. Time now for the coaches to work out a way to win. It feels like a moral victory to the Russians, to be honest. Their game plan has worked. They have stifled and frustrated Spain who have not been at their best today. Flowing through the legs, but they did look extremely tired, yes. Not certainly in this position at the end of 90 minutes, ready for extra time. Ugh, such a difficult game for either, either set of players. Sof and Fernando Hierro can make one more. Oh, it's in behind Kuchyotov. Aspas beautifully done. Carvajal just couldn't direct. Asensio straight at Akinfeyev. It's not often they've had space in that kind of position, Spain. Still 1-1. In it goes, PK straight to Akinfeyev. A comfortable save, greeted lovely by Rodrigo. Iago Aspas in the middle, Rodrigo! Good save, Akinfeyev into a dangerous area. Carvajal couldn't put it away. There was a block by Kutyapov. He thought he'd scored, he thought, particularly with Carvajal with the follow up as well. Here he is again. Curling dangerously, and Sergio Ramos is convinced he was held. Huge protest from the Spanish here. Looks suspicious to me. He is, he's getting held, isn't They're he? They're checking it, Kevin, they're checking it. Ramos was getting held as well. It's a foul, isn't it? Ignashevich has pulled PK. A throw for the referee and the officials. They're not giving it. Rodrigo. Rodrigo, I can fail onto it. <laughs> Penalties, it will be. They cannot be separated at the Luzhniki. Russia almost celebrate like it's a victory. Who knows? It may be. What it will be is high drama. Don't miss it. 120 minutes played. Spain won. Russia won. Well, it is uh, kind of football's version of Russian roulette, isn't it? and Akinfeyev will face Andres Iniesta from the penalty spot. Kevin, you've experienced this. You, you, you took one in that shootout in 2002. Yes, don't remind me. It brings back horrible memories. Last 16 against Spain in the World Cup. Yes, we went out. It was one of the worst penalty shootouts ever as well. Poor all round, really, but Spain, that day, just managed to get the better of us. Andres Iniesta, for year after year, the jewel in Spain's crown, scores. 1-0 to the Spanish. A kiss for luck. Fedor Smolov for Russia, facing De Gea. Oh, just! And that's...
that's all that counts. Well, it is what constitutes a good penalty. TK for Spain, 2-1 for Spain, kissed the post on the way in. Huge relief. Ignashevich faces De Gea. And scores cleverly, good penalty, 2-2. for the moment, brought through at Real Madrid, plays for Villarreal, speaks perfect Spanish, makes it 4-3 to Russia. <laughs> Cannot face what is about to happen, yes he can. Iago Aspas for Spain, got to score, and has not! <laughs> Incredible! Incredible! Spain are out, and the hosts are through to the last eight of their own World Cup. March on and Spain lost their nerve, deafened by the Luzhniki.